Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. In the last episode, I drove a reservoir tank to, uh, whatever city I'm in, this quarry. Um, it was about 470 kilometers. Um, so today, we're gonna see what load we can take out of this quarry. Or, wherever. Get the truck started properly. Okay. Take a look at what is in the job market. Lots of pressure tanks. I don't know why it doesn't automatically pick the city that I'm in, but it doesn't. Don't want to go into the UK. Don't want to go into France. Not the UK, not the UK. That's kind of a long trip. Pretty short. <laughs> Too long. UK, UK. France. Really short. And France. Okay. Um, I'm going to go here. The reason being is I haven't discovered this, this city yet. I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't disco discovered this city yet, and I want to try to discover all the cities and get to more uh, truck dealers and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're going to go here. Right now, I, I am currently uh, bobtailing, so uh, we can go a little fast. Gotta be careful coming out of this quarry, though. But yeah, so last time we uh, had a nothing really eventful happened. Just kind of drove the uh, drove the truck with no incidents, so we're hoping to get the same this time. Wow, the wheel on dirt is totally amazing. Now that they've redone the force feedback. You guys can't feel it, but you, I don't know if you, you might be able to hear it. I don't really know, but it's quite interesting and I am going quite fast. Let's see how fast we can go on this road. All right, I'm going to start slowing down. Messing up gears here, it's always fun. So I really don't know how far it is to get to this trailer. I know I was in a quarry that's not near a city, so I'm hoping that it's probably just right down the road in the next city. But I really don't know. Passing a truck up here. I'm not gonna do that. Well, not at the moment. So, yeah, it was a uh, pretty interesting run last time. Well, not interesting, I should say, actually. Um, this time around, it's probably going to be the same. Because it's, it's such a short trip that I doubt anything completely interesting is going to happen. I really want to pass this truck. I'm going to do it now. Get over. There we go. Alright. That was a uh, dangerous, stupid move, but it is what it is. Uh, 
Uh, no, it's not this one. It's not this place coming up. Wow, where am I going? Look at the map. I don't want to be... Oh, okay. It's just in this town over here. Alright, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't driving 500 kilometers to pick up a trailer to drive at 300. So... This is the city that technically, where we dropped off our last trailer, even though it was in that quarry outside of the city. Um, I'm going to go this way, because there is a truck dealer or something over here that I haven't discovered. And every time I enter a city that I haven't been to, I always... Uh, I always check out the um, the things that are grayed out, the little gray question marks, so I can discover them. Because if they're truck dealers, you can always come back and visit them and buy a truck. So that's always nice. Hopefully it'll discover it without me having to go that way, but it looks like no. I'm gonna have to go that way, and they're... Uh, is there a U-turn? Yeah, look, I can do a U-turn right there. I don't know if U-turns are legal, but I can do one. Ooh, that was a fast turn. Okay, yep, discovered the man truck dealer. Sweet. U-turn back to our... Back to our, uh... On the way to pick up the trailer. I think I can start this truck from a stop in six gear. I don't need it. I don't think I need to be in fourth. Let's find out. But this time I'm going to go straight into six. Yeah, I can just. When I'm bobtailing, I just go into six. Look at this guy. Didn't wait to see if anyone was behind that guy turning left. Just turned. Okay, well, here we are. Pick up our trailer. How far is the trip again? 243 kilometers. That'll take no time at all. But it'll be a fun little fun little run of uh, 32 tons of cheese. A lot of cheese. Let's get going. Mm, a big trailer. Alrighty. Come to a stop. Wow, that didn't stop as fast as I wanted it to. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this Euro Truck uh, series myself. It's a lot of, I just, I'm, I'm loving this game. Still, I've owned this game for months. Um, kind of stopped playing it for a little bit there, got back into it, and I'm still loving it. So, it's just, it's so well made. I'll say that in every single video that I do of this game. It's amazing. If you don't own this game, own it. Go out and buy it.
Oh, red lights. Can't escape them. Getting quite warm in my room here. Wow. 80 degrees, that's fun to truck in. Whew. But yeah, so I went for the I went I went with the Volvo to buy my for my first truck. Uh, reason being is horsepower. Had the most horsepower, had the most foot pounds of torque uh, for the not the lowest price, but a uh, reasonable price. I mean, if I went with the Scania, which I want to want to buy, this truck was two hundred twenty thousand uh, with the highest engine. I, I get the smallest cab you can because what's the point of spending fifty more thousand on a big cab when it? I would spend more money on a cab if this game said, okay, well you have the bigger cab, so the time it takes you to sleep is less then I would buy the bigger cab. But it's the same amount of time whether you have the big cab or the small cab. So I, I don't pay for the extra money. I go for the small cab. Um, so I, I, I went with the small cab. I have the uh, 6x4 axle, which means that I have the turning, you know, the, it's just, it's the conventional, it's the, it's the cab over. I don't have that axle where those two, where I have two axles that turn, I don't have that. It's just the, just the one. Um, ooh, I'm in the wrong lane. Um, but yeah, so, if the game said something like that, like, hey, if you had the bigger cab, sleeping is, you know, sleeping is faster, then yeah, I would have spent the money on the bigger cab. But anyway, this truck was 220000 with the biggest engine, uh, the best transmission, the chassis, and all my little doodads that I did to it. Um, and I was looking at the Scania. This 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 truck has 750 horsepower. Uh, the Scania, which would have been 240,000, um, had 730 horsepower. I thought losing horsepower for more money. Um, so I decided to stick with this. I do love this truck, but I want to buy a Scania. And when I do buy a Scania, I can give this truck to. Um, a driver after I hire a driver <laughs> and then I can enjoy the Scania for a bit get enough money to buy another truck and give the Scania to someone buy another truck enjoy it so so I think it'll be fun 240,000 is gonna be a gonna take a long time to get there but hopefully we will get there eventually about 1 45 in the morning in game and my guy sounded like he was getting I got a rest in an hour and 45 hour and 25 minutes is there a rest stop on the way Oh, it really doesn't look like there's a rest stop on the route. That's... That's not good. have to come to a complete stop this idiot it wouldn't have just stopped now you're gonna get in front of me asshole you better start driving away so yeah anyway after a little road rage um Hmm. We're doing alright on gas. 
Not gonna need to get gas, but sleep. So we'll be, we'll, we'll drop off. We got another two and a half hours on the trip. And he's got to sleep in an hour. <sighs> so I, I, if I don't sleep, I know I'm going to get fined. But then again, the job time lasts four days. I could, make, I could sleep and still make it. I just need to find a place to be able to pull off and sleep. That's on the route. Because I really don't want to go out of the way. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is actually... There is that little gas station on that on the on the mini map, but the red line is on right before the city. That's there. That's the only one that seems to be on the route, but that's quite a distance away. So I don't know what's hmm. I think we're just gonna have to uh, just keep driving and see what happens. Did that car run a red light? Maybe it was a yellow. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I'm getting tired. Shut up. Oh, gotta love this. Ooh. I did not realize that the turn was that sharp. I went way out to make sure my trailer wasn't going to go an oncoming lane, but wow, that was a lot sharper left turn than I thought it was going to be. i got to go up a hill here. Come on, don't make me shift down. You're going to make me shift down, aren't you? Yeah, you are. All right. Let's get on to the, what is this, the four? I don't know. Come on, 750 horsepower, don't make me shift into six. You're gonna make me shift into six. No, you're not. No, you're not. There we go, we're good. We're good. So yeah, we should be there in two in-game hours. That'll be no time. This video will probably be about 20 minutes. Um, which, I mean, I'll take a look at the loads. Maybe there'll be a, not like a hundred kilometer one real short. Make it 30 minutes. I don't We'll see. We'll see when we get there. We'll see how it goes. Um, so for an update, another update that's not about the channel or anything. Um, some of you might, if you're on the on the forums, which if you don't know about the forums, look in the description. The link to the forums has been there for about a month. Um, so if you want to, you can go to codezero.us, sign up, and it's just our forums where... Code Zero fans and us are on, and you can talk about, we have a bunch of topics in there, you can pretty much talk about whatever you want, there's a section for anything, um, so it's, it's quite, it's, it's quite an enjoyable forum, I think we have, uh, 300 members, maybe 350 by now, so, it's, it's not a bad little forum, it's, it's nice to see the, uh, fans get together and, you know, conversate over, Bullshit. <laughs> Not bullshit. Um, conversate over stuff that Code Zero is doing. It's really nice to have fans like that. So, if you want, you can sign up, go over, and hang out and talk. And we're always looking of ways of improving the forums and everything. So yeah, head over to CodeZero.us. Just CodeZero.us, <laughs> not .com. Um. Yeah, uh, so if you're on the forums, you, you would see that I posted a topic about my car. I was tr trying to decide if I wanted to sell my Crown Vic and get all this other stuff. It's starting to rain. Um, 
But I did. I sold my Crown Vic. Oh, there's a rest stop. Yes. Okay. Oh, is this the one that I... Oops. <laughs> did not want to... Yeah, this is the one that... Okay, well, let's just... Let's stop here. Actually, I don't need gas. Let's stop at the rest stop. Because I don't like sleeping at gas stations. I want to sleep at a rest stop. Which there's one right after this. Um, but yeah, I was trying to decide if I want to sell my car. My Crown Vic. Um, which I did. I sold it about a month and a half ago. Um, wow, my FPS does not like the rain. Where is this rest? Ah, here it is. Is there a spot open anywhere? Oops. Let's just pull in right here. Give that guy over there some room. There we go. Let's stop. Parking brake. Engine off. Wipers off. Uh, parking lights on. And let's sleep. So yeah. Sold my Crown Vic about a month and a half ago. Um had the opportunity of buying a, um, well, still had the opportunity of buying a, uh, 89 Mazda RX-7 convertible. I'm very excited about getting it. It's a manual, and I, if you watched the last episode, I talked about how I really want to own a manual. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a manual. It, the only problem is, uh, it's getting work done to it, um, so it's not ready. So I've been carless for a month and a half, and I'm starting to get cabin fever, being stuck indoors. I can walk places, but yeah, that's anywhere I really need to go is just too far to walk, and um, I don't think buses run that direction. I don't know. I don't really, I mean, I've lived in this new city for uh, seven, eight months now. I don't really know the buses because I had a car. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, you know, I'm try I'm, I'm waiting to get the, the, the Mazda. It's, um, currently the ECU was taken out of it. It was, uh, going to be a drift car for somebody. Uh, they decided to pick something else. So they had done all this work to this Mazda, putting a new engine, new clutch, new convertible top. Uh, they stitch welded, I don't know if they call it stitch welding, but they... They welded the, the, the frame, the chassis, to be more uh, rugged for drifting. Um, they did all this stuff to it, and then now it's just, it was there. So, it's actually from my cousin. He's the one that's selling me the car. Um, but he has to get the ECU back, put back into it, and it's just, I thought it was going to take like a week or two. Somebody is calling me. Uh, hold on a second. All right, I am sorry about that. Should have gone, uh, do not disturb. Anyway, um, so the ECU needs to be put back into it. Also, the new convertible top needs to be put on and a new carpet needs to be put in. These are all things that I can't do myself or not without spending money. So I need to be patient on waiting, but it's been almost two months. So I'm kind of, my patientness is, uh, starting to wear out. Um... Oh, fucking bus. But, uh, so yeah, it's, um, hopefully I should have, have it soon. Could, uh, start driving again, which I really miss driving in real life. Um, but yeah, so that's the update. I don't have the car yet. If you were on the forums and you saw that post about me getting it, I still haven't gotten it. And I will let you guys know when I do. Um... I'm going to go in front of this bus. Alrighty. Okay, let's go ahead and park this thing. Oop, why is my parking brake on? I did not activate the parking brake. Oh, and wasn't even on the... Okay. 
doing this totally wrong. Alright, let's... Oh. Let's bring this thing up. Parking brake, engine off, detached trailer. <laughs> that took no time at all, but there is one thing that I wanted to do to this truck that I didn't have the money, which I think I had the money now. 50, yeah, I have the money now. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. I think I can do that in this city. Let me just look at the, uh, ooh, can I? Uh, I don't know if I can. Well, there is, one outside of the city. Um, oh, my mirror. That's. Oh, was my. Did it die? Yeah, it died. Come on. So yeah, I'm going to go outside of the city to this little r repair shop. I think it's a dealer, actually. And there's one thing that I didn't get on this truck that I wanted to, which was a paint job. So we're going to go get a paint job on the truck. Which I think will be pretty cool. Oop, looking at the map and not the road. Dangerous. Come on. Come on. What? Did it turn red? Oh. All right. Well, that's another ticket. So yeah, want to get a paint job on this truck. It's one thing I didn't do. So we are going to go do that real quick. That will probably fill out the next 10 minutes. Make this a uh, decent sized soon. We are going to get on the E42. Uh, never heard of it. Never heard of it. I think, I think we're just going to get right off. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to get right off. On and off. Behind this truck. Here. So yeah, paint, couldn't afford it when I bought the truck, um, because I wanted one, the, like, second most expensive one or something like that, so, we're gonna go do that now. And then I'm gonna find out who was calling me, and, yeah. Go from there. Um, what's going on? Okay, red light. So yeah, I don't have the Mazda yet, which does really suck. I really don't know when I'm going to have it. Um, when I sold my Crown Vic, uh, the way that certain people were talking, it kind of sounded like I was going to get my Mazda in like a week <laughs> maybe two um yeah it's been a very slow quite annoying process fuck it okay we're just 
just gonna zoom on in here. Alrighty. Dangerous. Alright. And let's enter. Paint shop. Here's my truck. If you haven't seen it. I like it. Bay Area Trucking. Um, okay. So I wanted to get this. And I wanted... This color I think was going to be black. This I believe was going to be red. And this I believe was going to be... I want that a little darker. Was going to be gray. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. Hmm. What if I switch... Let me switch these around. I'll use this one. This one will be red. And this one will be gray. That's a little... That's a little nicer, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna go with that. I like that. Actually, let me, let me try this. This... This will be red. Uh, this will be black. That'll be gray. Ooh, no, I don't like that. Um... Okay, this will be gray, and this will be black. No. Okay. What about this is gray, this is black, and this is red. Ah, no. This is, this is red, this is black. Oh, that's, that's not bad, but I think I'm going to, Keep it the way I was. So this was black. <laughs> this was black and this was gray, I believe. Yes. Okay, I like this. I like this. It's uh thirty five thousand. Wow. Um so that scania is gonna take a little longer to get. Let's make sure let's go to services. Any service on the wheels, transmission and engine. Let's just fix those, why not? No upgrades I want? Alrighty. Well, let me do an outside view so you guys can see and enjoy the truck and shut it down. So yeah. Anyway, I'll turn the beacons on. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Euro Truck. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm definitely gonna do. I'm gonna do a lot more of these. Um, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time.